Hi, here I have custom gaming computer. This is the iBuy Power and the water cooling is not pumping or circulating the water. Therefore, the computer CPU overheats and it shuts off by itself randomly. So if you're experiencing any heat problem, first thing I like to do is to make sure you check and see if the pump is actually circulating the water. So one way to do it is when the computer is running, try to feel and hold on to the pipe. If you feel the pipe is, there's a flow of it, then more likely uh, you might want to check something else. Now, if you're holding on to the pipe and there is no vibration or any feeling of the water is running, or you don't hear anything uh, water sound that's coming from the radiator, then more likely that the pump is not working and overheats and computer shuts down. All right, so for my case, I'm not going to use the uh, water cooling. I'll be using a standard CPU heatsink with the fan on it, okay? So there are different brands out there. Uh, just so happened that we'll be using this one. I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver. Let's go ahead and remove the, uh, the screws here. Okay, once the thing is removed, let's see if we can disconnect this. Otherwise, I need to, uh, okay, this thing is disconnected. And that is the uh, CPU. So get one of those um, alcohol wipes. Get one of these like, alcohol wipes. Let's clean out the uh, thermal paste. That is the old thermal paste. Wipe it off. And here I have the Intel processor CPU. So once you wipe off, wipe off the thermal paste, uh, the next step is definitely you need to reapply them. Definitely need to get one of those um, thermal paste and reapply it on the CPU. Now before I do that, I need to remove the heat sink and this thing is mounted it on the front so let me remove the uh, the mesh which is quite dusty Okay, it took me a while, so remove all the screws. Let's put them on the side. Looks like we need to disconnect some of the cables here. And of course, this computer here is quite dusty. So we have the bracket came off on the other side.
Okay. Yep, I'm sorry, but I have to clean out this place. I cannot deal with the, all the dust here. So if your computer is dirty, please clean the computer if you can. Because the dust can really heat up the computer. Once that is done, let's go ahead and install So it comes with the uh, heat sink and a fan. And this one here is supposed to go to the bottom part of the computer. I'll be using the tape to tape down the bottom part of it so that the uh, bracket doesn't fall off. So right now the bracket here is on this side of it and uh, using a tape to tape it down. And I come back and remove it after so that it doesn't fall off when I flip it apart. Once the bracket and the back is installed, this is the Intel LGA1200. So I do need to install this um, 
this spacer here that makes a gap. Once it's installed, let's put this thing on. Once two of the bracket is on, go get one of the um, the nut here to screw it in. Let's see. See if I can actually screw it in. Got a Phillips screwdriver. Let's tighten it up. Get the Arctic M6, MX6. Let's squeeze some of it here. If you have a scraper, like some sort of uh, a, a tiny little plastic, you might want to even out the, uh, the thermal paste. Make sure that every single corner has some of the paste on it. So just even that out. You can be generous on the uh, thermal paste because once you are trying to even out the thing, a lot of them would end up on the uh, the scraper right so just be generous on that part of it and then let some of them be there okay I can do better than that but let's just move on uh, let's see then this is the uh, heat sink peel off the thing have it on Okay, once it's mounted in, the next step is to install the fan.
Okay, there you have it. We just installed the uh, heat sink on a computer on this iBuy Power. Right now, I'm going to turn it on, stress test, and see what happens. And again, always come back and clean your computer. You can see that the uh, gecko poops are all over. So, thanks for watching. Bye now.